Hey there digital friends welcome back to digital visions and in this video I will be showing you how to flash pixel experience custom rom on Moto One Vision Plus. Currently this custom rom is running on Android 12 L or Android 12.1. So I will be showing you how is this pixel experience custom rom and what are the features that we will be getting with this custom rom. So if you want the pixel like feeling you can flash this custom rom because this is same to same like the pixel. You will have same features like Pixel with some additional things added because it's the Pixel Experience Plus custom ROM. So I will show you just the basic things that we will be getting this custom ROM and then go to the custom ROM flashing. So as you can see here in the display we will be getting the same kind of features which we get in the every custom ROM like auto rotate etc. And tap to wake feature currently is not working it might be fixed in the future update. So we also getting the new feature that is the face unlock feature. So if you want this face unlock feature you can flash this custom ROM. So let me go to settings and gestures over here as you can see these are the basic features which we will be getting in every custom ROM and even in the pixel also. So as you can see here the navigation and all and other than this we are also getting the motor actions over here. As you can see device gestures and we will getting the basic 5 motor actions over here and they work perfectly and in the even in the ambient display also and here as you can see we can remember the google assistant button also so some people asked me regarding the geekbench score in the custom rom so in this pixel experience custom rom as you can see here we will be getting a single core score of 532 so regarding these scores and all i won't believe in them because they are just numbers and daily performance matters so as people asked for it i am showing this now so regarding bugs and all I can say that there are no kind of bug except a dual world debug which is present in every custom ROM and in this ROM we will be also getting this Moto Dolby Audio and currently in this build Moto camera is not present and in the newer builds the Moto camera will be included. So the ROM is very stable except that dual debug and I can say that there are no kind of bugs present here. So coming to the extra features in this custom ROM, we will be getting the status bar, network traffic monitor and some brightness control by using the status bar quick build on and just the basic stuff in the custom ROM. So as I said this is the pixel experience plus custom ROM that's why we are getting those small additional features in this ROM. So now let's see how to flash this custom ROM on Moto One Fusion Plus. So there are some things that you must do before flashing this custom ROM. So that is take entire backup of your data before flashing this custom ROM. And you should unlock your bootloader. You can watch my previous video on how to unlock. And after that download the required files from the link in the description below. Flash this ROM at your own risk and I am not responsible for anything that happens to your device. So this is my desktop and as you can see there are three files over here. You can download them from the link in the description below. So before flashing this custom ROM you should be on the latest stock ROM which is Android 11 so if you are already present in the Android 11 you can skip this part otherwise follow this to restore the Android 11 stock ROM. So go to Risk and Smart Assistant, login with your Lenovo ID, after that you need to take your mobile and go to settings and after that go to build number you can search it over in the search bar and after that go to build number and press 5 times on it. So after tapping 5 times the developer options will be enabled so search for USB debugging and then turn on this USB debugging. This is mandatory and if you connect your mobile to the system you will be getting this prompt click on ok. So after that click on rescue click on phone rescue you can enter your IMEA number over here so that it will detect your mobile or you can connect your mobile to the PC then also it will detect your mobile. So after that click on ok over here and it will show the latest ROM available for you click on download click on ok if you have already downloaded the stock ROM it will start flashing and if you are not downloaded it will download the ROM so after that power off your device and connect your cable to the laptop and after that go to the bootloader mode by pressing power and volume down button as you can see the bootloader mode here and after that connect your cable to the mobile so currently I am downloading the latest stock ROM available for the device. So I am speeding this part for you. You can watch my previous videos if you have any doubts on unlocking bootloader. Make sure you have at least 50% battery in your mobile before doing this process. It will take some time to download this stock ROM and flash this in your mobile. So as you can see here I have connected my device in the bootloader mode 
and after that click on rescue click on proceed i hope you took the backup of enter that are present in your mobile so after that click on proceed and that's it it will start flashing the android 11 stock ROM on moto one fusion plus and again it takes some time so i am speeding this part for you after successfully flashing of this stock rom it will automatically boot into the android 11 stock rom as you can see now it's successfully flashed and again you need to re-enable the usb debugging in your mobile so keep your mobile connected to your laptop and after that when the device is turned on skip the initial setup and go to the settings and enable the usb debugging you can enable the usb debugging by go to settings and go to build number and tap on the build number 5 times so that the developer options will be enabled and after the search your usb debugging option and enable that again you will be getting a prompt in your mobile click on ok after enabling the usb debugging power of your device now we have successfully restored the latest standard on your motor one fusion plus and we have successfully completed step one so now let's go to the step two so download this Libre custom ROM flasher and the pixel experience ROM from the link in the description below. So unzip the pixel experience zip, open the folder and inside that you can find this payload.bin file. So copy that file, close the folder, go to the Libre custom ROM flasher and go to the payload dumper and there you will find a payload input, go to that and now paste that payload.bin file over here. After that go back you will be seeing another file payload output and after payload dumper.exe click on payload dumper and it will start extracting the files necessary for the custom ROM so it will take for almost 5 minutes or less than that for extracting the files if you think it takes more time redo this process again so as you can see it's now completed go to payload output folder you will be finding these files over here as we are flashing this custom ROM which is a clean flash so you will be finding two files over here so in the meantime as you have power of your device power on into the bootloader mode so press volume down and power key for 5 seconds to get into bootloader mode and after that connect your mobile to the pc as you can see here i have connected my mobile so now as i said we will be having two files over here that is clean flash and dirty flash so currently we are doing the clean flash of this custom ROM so click on that and after that you need to type y and click on enter and that's it it will start flashing the custom ROM on motor one fusion press so it will take some time to flash this custom ROM so i am speeding this part for you after completion of the flashing it will automatically boot into the pixel experience custom ROM and that's it this is how you will be flashing the pixel experience custom ROM on your motor one fusion press now complete the initial setup and you are good to go so if you want to root this motor one fusion plus you can watch my previous video on how to root motor one fusion plus by using magix and if you want a better performance you can flash the cancer kernel also and that's it this is the pixel experience custom ROM you will be getting the same feel like the pixel which includes the monad theme engine also so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching this video and subscribe for more videos